So in the day one material, we looked at circles, we looked at the parameters defining a circle, and now we're gonna look at some properties or results associated with a circle. For example, the first obvious one is that all radii of the circle are equal. So these are gonna be equal, and they're gonna be equal to another congruent circle. Diameter is the largest chord or the longest chord in a circle. So if this is a diameter, any other line that I draw is going to be necessarily smaller than the diameter. So that one's fairly obvious. A straight line that passes through a point in the circle. So what this means is inside the circle. So I take a circle, there's a point inside the circle. Any line that I draw that goes through this point is going to meet the circle at exactly two points meaning that it's going to be a chord or a secant line now this one is helpful it says equal chords subtend equal arcs this means if the length of a b and c d are equal then this length is going to be equal to the arc length now this notation here, putting a semicircle on the top, this means I'm talking about arc AB as opposed to when I just write AB, which means that I'm talking about the line AB. So this says if AB the line equals CD the line, then AB the arc equals CD the arc. The next one says equal central angles subtend equal arcs. Uh, because these are straight lines these are opposite angles and they have to be equal and when they are equal then the arc length cd equals the arc length ab two central angles have the same ratio as arcs that subtend it now if i take two central angles and, it, and now in this case ad is not a straight line ao and od are at odd angles and that's why they are not equal but what we know is that the length of this arc divided by the length of this arc is going to be 42 over 75 because those are the ratios of the angle. Now here's a bonus question. Um, why does this work? Um, think of the radian definition and that should be able to tell you why they have to be in the same ratio. This one is very helpful. It says a diameter perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord. So here is my center. From the center, I take any diameter, making sure this is 90 degrees. And if there's any chord on the way, then I get AC equal BC. In addition, it also does that to the arcs that are subtended by the chord. Meaning, then you also get that the arc AD equals arc DB and you get the arc AE equals the arc BE. Let's look at some example, um, one example, and then I'm going to do a separate video with more examples. Given AC and BD are diameters, find the arc AB and BC. Now, one simple way to do this is to observe that if this angle is X, then this angle is also X. And what we know is if the central angles are equal, then the arc lengths are equal. So using that, what I get is similarly y equals y because of opposite angles. So I get that arc AB should equal arc CD which is 0 0.6 meters and arc BC should equal the arc AD which is 0 0.7 meters. So again, um, while working with these problems, you have to think of which postulate to use and which, which gives you the fastest uh, path to getting the answer. In the next video, I'll be looking at some more um, problems based on the postulates.